Hi everyone, I'm Brad Cole, Software Product Manager for Digi. Embedded product design is a major investment and effort for any company. So product selection goes beyond simply the hardware. In fact, software is the lifeblood of any embedded design. So let's talk about how to evaluate software when making your hardware decision. What should you look for? Let's take a look at the top five software requirements for embedded product design. In the middle of everything is an embedded module with a software development kit. If you're gonna be keeping track of many of these modules, collecting data and managing your things, you'll wanna make sure that you can connect easily to the right software platform so you can manage, monitor, and configure a large number of devices efficiently. Look for a ready-to-use cloud platform for connecting your sensors and devices to remote end-user applications. This allows you to focus on your embedded design rather than how you're gonna manage those devices once they're deployed. Now, what should you be concerned about as you create your product, whether it be an embedded design for a kiosk, vending machine, thermostat, or something else? Number one, you wanna make sure everything is as secure as possible. That means following some basic security practices, such as those outlined by our TrustFence security framework, which is provided with development kits. Those practices include minimizing attack vectors, ensuring only software that you intend can be loaded on your device, and using open source or industry standard encryption schemes, because that will provide the best protection against potential vulnerabilities. This way you're leveraging an entire community who are continually making open source components more secure. Number two, you wanna make sure you have control and have the ability to configure your thing, whatever you're building, and that it's simple to do that. You want a common platform and interface across as many devices as you need so you can configure them easily. This way you can control network parameters or configure set points. Whatever you need to do, you're in control. Third, you wanna keep it simple. Linux and Python are proven, well-known environments for structured, familiar development. We have well-documented APIs for interfacing with the hardware and our cloud platform. So you can tie those pieces together in the middle. Fourth, of course, you need all of this to be reliable. If your device will be connecting wirelessly, you want to be sure it will always stay connected. For example, our development kits include robust, proven, and well-tested drivers for all interfaces. And our cloud connector provides well-defined and tested interfaces for handling configuration, software updates, and other messaging needs. All of this is rigorously tested together so you can focus on your embedded application rather than worrying about connectivity. Finally, number five, you want all of this to be scalable. It should be easy to manage a large number of devices and add more over time. That's it. The top five software requirements for embedded product design. Thanks for tuning in and look for other great videos like these at digi.com.